Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Good Dishes, where I show you how to cook some of your favorite meals. On today's episode, we're going to be handling a true classic, roast chicken. So for this recipe, you'll need a whole chicken, some butter, some garlic, carrots, onions, and some soup stock. And if you're making gravy, then you'll need some flour. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut my vegetable into cubes. And by dicing them, this makes them really nice and kind of chunky, but not too big and not too small. With the onions, you're going to want to just run your knife up one side and then down the others so you can get a nice even pattern. Now for your carrot, you just want to cut off the knob at the top, cut it in half, and then just run your knife down the whole carrot. This will make some really nice chunks that will be nice and bite-sized by the time the carrots are all cooked down. For the garlic, you just uh, want to give it a nice basic rough chop, not too big, not too small because they're going to cook the fastest. And once you're done that, you have a nice pile of vegetables that will be, in my opinion, one of the best parts of the whole dish. Now for the chicken, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the cavity and then get underneath the skin of the breasts. You're gonna to wanna to get your knife and make a few slits because what we're gonna be doing here is we're going to be putting some butter underneath the skin. What this does is this actually moistens the chicken inside as well as because we're using salted butter, it gives it a nice seasoning on the inside. So it's not too dry, it's nice and moist, and it's also really flavorful because of the salt content in that butter. Also, when it's browning in the oven, this is going to really help give the skin not only a nice light, flaky, really just really rich flavor, it's also going to make it nice and brown as it's cooking in the oven. So once you have about two or three slices of that butter on each side of the breast, whatever you can really afford without making the skin rip too much, then you are ready to go on to the seasoning. But before that, we're going to want to make sure that in our pan that we're going to be roasting the chicken and vegetables in, that we have it nice and buttered. This way, the chicken doesn't stick to the bottom, so you can just remove it nicely without any of that skin or anything sticking to the bottom. Same thing goes to the vegetables, because if you just have everything sticking to your pan, then you're just gonna have a huge mess to clean up afterward and nobody wants that. So off camera, I just went ahead and seasoned the wings and thighs on the side because if you only do it on top, then you really don't get a nice coverage on the whole bird. Now I'm just dumping all of the vegetables into the sides of the chicken that aren't being filled by the chicken itself so that you can get a real nice even cook. Then we're just gradually seasoning with seasoned salt and pepper on top. I'm using a nice smoked sea salt. You can just use regular salt if you want or whatever. It's gonna taste good regardless. But with that, you just put the lid on top and you're ready to go in the oven. So at first you're gonna to wanna to put it in with the lid on in the oven at exactly 450 degrees for 10 minutes. Then after that, we're going to remove the lid Turn the oven down to 350 degrees and start basting. So what basting is, is when we take our soup stock and put it all over the bird and into the vegetables itself. This way they really absorb the nice flavor of that chicken a lot. And you're going to want to repeat this process every 10 minutes until you get this product right here. This will be the product after about an hour or an hour and a half of cooking it really depends on your oven so to make a good gravy the first thing you need to do is make a roux and what a roux is is equal parts butter and flour melted together in a pan normally you do about a half cup of each but if you're an absolute pro unit like me you just measure it out by hand but the best part about the roux at this stage is if you add too much butter or flour, you can always just add a little more butter like I needed right here until you get that nice kind of like paste-like consistency. And you're just going to want to cook it out until it smells basically like a pie crust. Then you're going to put in a little bit of stock at first until it gets a kind of glue-like consistency. And from there you add as much soup stock you want to make it as thin or as thick as you want. So you add more if you want to make it thinner, you add less if you want to make it thicker, that's up to you. But with that said, we are officially done. So now all you have to do is plate it up, have some nice vegetables. I didn't make potatoes in this one, but it would be really good if you had a nice baked potato or mashed potatoes with it, especially for that gravy with the chicken, it's really good. 
But this is how you make a great roast chicken dinner. I hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned for more episodes of Good Dishes.